Hey, Stromer Dundee here, and welcome to the first edition of Caffeine Corner. Today we're looking at a specific Starbucks double shot product. So this is going to be more of a product review instead of a demo or tutorial or something like that concerning caffeine. I've got a busy day today. I've already been grocery shopping. I picked this up while grocery shopping and I wanna try it specifically because it is a new type that I haven't seen before. I don't know if this will focus. Mm, mostly focused here. So this is apparently the Cubano Double Shot Espresso. I've only ever seen regular ones. Uh, there's some that are bold and have very little sugar. There's some that are more creamy. So let's read what it says on the back. It says Cuban inspired espresso with the perfect amount of sugar, smooth, sweet, simple. If you've never had like like real Cuban espresso, it is very good. Um, I really like espresso in general, but I've probably had more Cuban espresso than maybe Italian espresso, uh, specifically because I am in Florida. So I wanted to give this a try. It is really not a lot of product. It's only about 6.5 fluid ounces, very small, but again, it's supposed to be a double shot of espresso. It's not supposed to be this huge, what do they call it in Starbucks? Like venti? Trenta? I don't, I don't know what the, the sizes are in Starbucks, but whatever the, it's not supposed to be a big honking thing of espresso. It's supposed to be small, good, and all that you really need. Also, fun fact, espresso usually doesn't have as much caffeine in it as regular brewed coffee. Which, uh, if you stick around and watch another caffeine corner I'm going to do, which is how I get the most caffeinated, cheapest, quickest drink possible, um, I'm going to show you what I do with espresso powder later on. But we'll save that for another video. So for right now, I'm just going to try this out and see what it's like, see if it's good, see how it goes. I always like the little green tops, the little green pull tabs at the top. I don't know why I think that's cool. All right. Wow, that's actually pretty good. So it does have a pretty strong espresso taste to it. Um, not bitter at all. Let me check the ingredients real quick. It, the ingredients just say brewed espresso coffee, which is water and coffee, sugar, and ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid is something, I don't even know if you'll be able to read it really. Ascorbic acid is basically just something that stabilizes it on the shelf. It says best served chilled or over ice. This is chilled. I got it right from the little fridge when I bought it. Refrigerate after opening. Please recycle this can. North American Partnership. The only thing that kind of annoys me is there is no like fair trade logo on this. There is some sketchy coffee bean getting business uh, as far as the people who actually harvest coffee beans and such, so I usually like to see a fair trade logo on coffee, but it seems pretty good. It's definitely not a very dairy-fied product, so if you are a person who always needs to add half and half or cream or milk to your coffee, not for you. It's got that nice kind of dry aftertaste of good espresso, which I really like. I really like, quick tip, um, if you're ever at like an Italian restaurant that has a, an actual espresso machine and they serve tiramisu, I learned this from this pizza place I went to um, back when I used to live in a different part of Florida, but the guy told me you always want to dip like a teaspoon in your espresso and then you use the spoon to cut through a layer of tiramisu and eat it. So that way the warm espresso is on the bottom and it's hitting your tongue and then it finishes off with the creamy kind of chocolatey also espresso-y tiramisu and it tastes just wonderful. That is my top dessert experience is a really good shot of espresso, tiramisu together. It's just, it's better than anything. Yeah, still consistently good. Sometimes I take like a couple drinks before I decide if I like something because things will settle at the bottom. Sometimes that happens a lot with uh, any kind of like mocha or chocolate drink a lot. 
chocolate will all go towards the bottom and then you'll get like this kind of sandy to chocolate powdery taste at the bottom but this is really nice I could probably drink like six of these it's probably not a good idea I'll save that for another video too how to avoid getting caffeine poisoning because that is a thing that happens well cheers to you I hope you have a wonderful morning afternoon or night or middle of the night or galaxy quest whatever it is that you're on if you like coffee if you like espresso espresso if you're short on time and if you don't mind not having dairy this is pretty decent i recommend it and i'll see you in another video bye